In this video, you'll get an introduction to Amazon Managed Grafana, or AMG. With AMG, you can easily create Grafana dashboards to visualize and analyze your operational data at scale, connect to multiple data sources, and upgrade to Grafana Enterprise for additional third-party plugins and support. Let's start by navigating to Amazon Managed Grafana. Grafana is a popular open-source analytics platform that enables you to query, visualize, alert on, and understand your metrics no matter where they are stored. With AMG, you don't have to provision servers, configure and update software, or do the heavy lifting involved in securing and scaling Grafana in production. Let's see how you can create a Grafana workspace in just a few clicks. First, we'll give the workspace a name. Note that AWS Single Sign-On, or SSO, must be enabled to log into this workspace. We'll retain the default settings for the permission type. Next, we can select data sources. This will create an AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role that enables AMG to access those resources in the current account. Let's select Amazon CloudWatch. Now we'll review the settings and create the workspace. Now that the workspace was created successfully, we can assign a user or user group to it. By default, users have viewer permissions. If we wanted, we could also assign user groups access to Grafana. Here we can see the available data sources. Since we specified CloudWatch as a data source in the setup, the relevant policies have already been attached. We can also designate additional data sources if needed. Let's return to the Users tab and sign into the workspace. The Grafana workspace URL can be given to anyone who needs to use this Grafana instance. We'll sign in using AWS SSO. Because we have only viewer permissions for this workspace, we don't see all the options that admins see. We'll add those shortly. First, let's return to the AWS Grafana console to look at the option to upgrade this workspace to Grafana Enterprise. Upgrading to Grafana Enterprise gives access to a variety of third-party plugins. It also grants access to consultation, support, and on-demand training content directly from Grafana Labs. For our purposes, let's continue using regular Grafana. We'll make our Grafana user an admin, and then return to the workspace in AMG. Now that we have admin status, the workspace has more options. Let's add a data source. Because we gave Grafana access to CloudWatch, we can add CloudWatch as a data source right from here. To connect, we'll need to enter our access key ID and secret access key. Let's save and test the connection. In order to query CloudWatch, we'll also need to enable permissions. Only admins will be able to query the data source. Now let's create a dashboard that visualizes CPU utilization on our Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2, instances. We'll start with an empty panel. Now we'll edit the panel to select the region of our AWS account, the namespace, the metric name, and dimensions. Let's name the panel and take a look at the different ways to visualize the data. Let's apply these changes. We can change the time displayed by our panel because it's connected to a live data stream. We can also import a pre-existing dashboard panel programmatically. To see how, let's navigate to our dashboard settings. Let's take a look at our dashboard's JSON model. We could import a dashboard by pasting in a different JSON model from the open source community of Grafana dashboards. In this case, we'll leave our dashboard as is. Let's save the dashboard and return to the AMG homepage. You've just seen an introduction to Amazon Managed Service for Grafana. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.